I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Hi, Freeze. I'm Batman. Welcome, guys. And I wanted to make a video on basically the most anticipated 2016 movie that's going to be hitting. The most anticipated movie for years. Trailer, not so much hype, hype, heightened it up, but it, it was good enough. It was good enough. Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Whose side are you on? I want you to leave comments. I want you to share her video if you want to. Just let me know. Just let me know whose side are you on. Are you on Batman's side or are you on Superman's side? Now, we don't even have to fucking know about the plot. We know these two are going to fight. Who do you want to win? It's simple as that. Who do you want to win? Do you want Batman to win or do you want Superman to win? I want fucking Ben Affleck to win. Affleck, if you do not win, you're fucking letting the whole Batman just fan base, everybody down. Not because you're damn acting, not because of that robotic voice, not because of Daredevil. Just because you're fucking not winning the fight. Don't give me the shit that he is pretty much a god and he could take you out with just a sneeze. No. That's no excuse. You're a goddamn Batman, right? You're the goddamn Batman. Listen, guys, I wanted to just pretty much talk about basically whose side I'm on. And I am on the Batfleck, Ben Affleck side as Batman. I think he looks great in this movie. He's fucking huge. This is the biggest live adaptation of Batman I have seen. I've seen, you know, you know Christian Bell and his body transformations. He's pretty big in the first one. I don't think he was as big in the second one or third one, but he was pretty huge in the first one. But he just was nowhere close to how big fucking Ben Affleck is. Also, you know, just the overall presence. Ben Affleck looks intimidating. However, will he sound intimidating? With the little, uh, you know, tell me, do you bleed? You will. That, you know, that that's pretty, I did like that part. I thought that was pretty cool. Now, you got to give it to Superman, though. You got to give it to Henry Cavill. This dude got more jacked up compared to the fucking Man of Steel. He is huge. These two Titans have got, got themselves into shape to be Titans, to fucking fight, to be. These guys are right off the comic book pages you know how they're just too fucking huge and big and all muscly like there's no way anybody could do that unless your name's the rock dwayne johnson these guys are fucking mammoths and that's it's so great to see how dedicated they are or <laughs> the studio telling them you need to get the shape for this film now do it's realistic man batman how the fuck is he gonna fight superman how is he gonna beat him why do i think Batman will beat him, or why am I on Batman's side? I'm on Batman's side because it's fucking Batman. It's the Dark Knight. I loved Batman since I was a little kid. It started off with Batman the Animated Series. There was no comics. There was none of that. It was Batman the Animated Series because I was born in 89, 90s rolled around. Absolutely loved the fucking cartoon series. It was dark, noir, gritty, awesome. I always say dark and gritty for some reason. It was noir. It was that perfect detective type series. I loved the Joker. I loved Mark Hamill's voice. I loved Mr. Freeze. I loved Catwoman. I loved all the characters. I loved Two-Face. I thought Two-Face was well represented in that series. Also, uh, Raj Al Ghul was as well. That was my introduction to Batman. That's where I, I loved the Burton films. I absolutely loved Michael Keaton. I thought he did a fantastic job with his Batman. I do love Batman Returns. I thought Batman Returns, even though how fucking dark it was, it was great. I thought it still was great with the Penguin, Danny DeVito, and um, Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. Absolutely loved that film. Uh, the first one was good. Jack Nicholas kills it, but you know I think I always have a place in my heart for the second film. So I've been with Batman for a long time, especially the Batman and Robin uh, shit that happened, you know, and um, Batman Forever, which was, you know, it, uh, it definitely was a different kind of turn. And oh, I also loved, or loved, but I used to always have the VHS tapes and always used to watch that main movie of, you know, Batman. The Batman, you know, with Adam West, I have the movie, you know, with the Joker, Catwoman, and all that. And the submarine, for some reason, it's been a long time since I saw that. So I've always had the Bats, Batman's back. 
I uh, got into comics a little bit. You know, I know a little bit of his backstory. I know a lot about his backstory. Uh, Game-wise, not so much. I'm not that much of a gamer, so I don't really play a lot of Arkham Asylum and stuff. But I do watch my buddies play, and it looks amazing. So, I'm Batman forever. forever. Batman forever. Oh, my God. The only time I thought Batman sucked was with George Clooney. Sorry, George, but you suck. Um, but yes, this is no, there's no difference. I am on Batman's side for this film. How do I think he will defeat Kal-El, uh, Clark, aka Superman? I mean, people are saying the ring, you know, Kryptonite ring. It looks like he, that definitely is a heavy influence. Basically, the fight from Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns. I believe it was Dark Knight Returns. I want to say Dark Knight Rises for some reason. Thanks a lot, Nolan. Um... But yeah, from Frank Miller's uh, Dark Knight Returns, that fight at the end. I remember reading Frank Miller's graphic novel, and I did enjoy it. I absolutely loved how it was a female Robin. I liked, um, was it Kelly? Kelly? I did, uh, I can't remember. Kelly. I liked her as Robin. Uh, I thought Batman, Old Withered, and him fighting Clark was great. I remember my uncle was telling me stories before I ever read it. Like, oh, yeah, you know, these two fight at one point, and Batman wins. Realistically, Batman wins because Frank Miller made him to win. Uh, if you had a one-on-one battle and no holds barred, you know, put him somewhere, Batman's going to lose because of Superman's strength. I know that. A true Batman fan would know that, even though he is the world's greatest detective, the world's smartest man. He's the world's everything, but you just can't beat sheer force. And Clark is as well smart. So that's just a recipe for disaster for Batman every time. Maybe he gets a couple in there. But fuck, man. I mean, most of the time, Superman's going to win. So how is Batman going to beat Superman? Or will it even come to that? I don't think so. I honestly don't think that, you know, will you? Are we going to have that bullshit, you know, Alien versus Predator where nobody really wins? Or Freddy vs. Jason where nobody really wins. Batman vs. Superman, we already know. Nobody's going to win because they're going to form the fucking Justice League. But will one, you know, one basically have the more, you know, the more, I guess, points? I'm going to go point system on here. I think Zack Snyder, this is officially a man, this is supposed to be a man of steel too. Uh, but Batman is just such a big icon, and he's he's the one that generates so much money. I think that Superman will win this fight. I am on Batman's side. I think Batman, you know, will lose this fight, but he'll have basically if he ever has to go down, go blows with Superman for some apparent reason, he will win uh, the second fight. I think Superman will win this fight. Oh. I think he will win it. He will win it, but he'll show Batman and everybody in the world that he is merciful. That he will not kill him like he did Zod. I think Zod will still haunt him. Uh, I think he'll have a chance to, you know, kill Batman, but he will not do it. I think he'll. That's where the partnership will happen. I think that's will the respect that you know Bruce will have for Clark after Clark beats him. I think there's no shot of a doubt. I'll put my money on Clark winning this fight. But Batman really giving him a you know heavy doses of fight. We'll we'll probably he'll probably learn about Kryptonite this and that. Uh, there'll probably be a little twist on the Kryptonite or how much could Kryptonite hurt Superman? Uh, Lex Luthor will definitely be involved, but in what way will he be helping Bruce at some point or you know the Batman? We don't know, but. I think Clark will win this fight, but overall, I have my uh, have my boys back, man. Batman is is he is the icon. He is, I believe, he is the leader. Even though a lot of people think Superman's the leader, but overall, Batman is a fucking leader. When apocalypse happens, Batman is the one that he's the John Connor of fucking everything. Batman is an awesome. He's just more interesting. He is. He's more interesting. I know there's a lot of comic books out there with Superman stuff, but. If you take away the comic books and you put Superman in anything other, Superman had his own animated series, he's had his movies, Batman just fucking generates more interest because we are more accustomed to that. Now we're more into like the darker kind of stuff, but we're just more um, relatable to Batman because of all the shit that's happened to him. Yes, Clark, all this stuff has happened to him, but he's a fucking alien. 
Batman is just a man and he's fighting gods and stuff. We root for that kind of character. So I absolutely think... I'm on Batman's side. Do I think he will win? No, he will not. I don't think he'll win this fight. I think there will be a winner somewhat, you know, point-wise. You know, there will probably be a decision that needs to be made towards the end of the film uh, between this, you know, when they two fight. Unless Lex Luthor comes and just fucks it all up for some reason and they have to team up and fight Lex. I want to see a general fight. I want to see a pretty much, you know, a DC Gods Among Us fight. I want to see just, you know, if two pl- two people got the fucking controller and said, you know, I'm I'm the Batman. And the other one said, I'm Superman. I don't know how fucking Superman does it. And then, you know, you go at each other. You go at each other. God damn you, Darren. How come I cannot fucking be you even with Batman? <laughs> So, uh, it's, it's, uh, honestly, I just made this video to really talk about my feelings about the Batman v Superman, Batman versus Superman, and whose side I have. I have Batman's side all the way. I never liked Superman. I'm going to be completely uh, um, honest with you. I hate Superman. I've always hated Superman, but I thought, you know, I thought uh, Superman Returns, I thought that wasn't too bad of a film. A lot of people hate it. Uh, I thought Man of Steel was actually really great. Watched it quite a bit of times. But you know what? I I know why people like Superman. I'm not, you know, going to fucking trash on Superman. I just think Batman is a better character. That's just my opinion. But uh, Superman as a whole, I know why people like him. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, my God, Batman. Superman could beat Batman's ass like nothing. Like nothing. You, I've seen all the fucking, you know, everything that has, everything that pretty much fucking... Can you could throw at you know what that Batman could win against Superman, and I just don't see it. I just see Superman winning mostly every time, maybe one or twice that Batman can somehow win this, but Superman wins every fucking time. But how does he win? That's the main thing. Um, so you got to give credit to Superman. Superman is he's fucking made and drawn and written as one of the most powerful people in the universe. In the universe, Batman is the most powerful person in Earth, but he is on. You know, you can't, you can't just fucking you know let <laughs> you. You can't pretty much, you know, think little of Batman because Batman will fuck you up. But yes, uh, for the Superman fans, you know, don't disrespect. I just that's how what I believe about Batman and what I think that I think he's the more interesting character. I think you heard a lot of that from a lot of people. Say keep saying that and throwing that in your face. I don't want to throw it in your face. I just want to you know state my reason. I haven't really you know stated that reason before. Um, but Superman, you know, Superman, if you guys like, I like Henry Cavill. I like Henry Cavill's Man of Steel. I think that's a great casting choice. I think they do need to give him a little bit more to do in this film. Uh, if you're on Superman's side, you go right ahead. But I'm stand right here in the Dark Knight side. Hopefully Ben Affleck nails the part, knocks it out of the park. Looks great in the suit. Looks fucking humongous. Uh, every suit incarnation, the Batmobile looks amazing. But will he just fucking deliver the performance as Bruce and Batman in the Intimidation and in the Swagger uh, Factor? We'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm looking forward to this film. So thank you guys for listening. That's my thoughts on it. Batman side all the way. Let me know your thoughts. If you're on Superman side, let me know. And that's it. That's all I got to say. The trailer hit. It's fine. It was okay trailer. Can't wait for the next trailer to hype it up a little bit more. And thank you guys for listening. And subscribe, like, and cannot. Just let me know your overall thoughts on this. So thank you guys. And see you later. I'm the Batman.